It's night and day. <laughs> All right, we're back. Back in the world of Record Keeper. Yes, yes, we are back. This time we're going to look at the Wind Magicite, <laughs> Tiamat. <laughs> Tiamat? Yeah, four-star wind magicite. This used to be known as the hardest of the four-star magicites before Holy and Dark got introduced. It was mm. definitely the hardest of the original six. And we've got your good buddy Squall here to take a to take a shot at slaying this dragon. Oh, easily. We've also got Snow for the chain to make Squall a stronger, silly, silly smooshy. <laughs> so we are able to sub-30 this Tiamat. The five-star Magicites just came out recently, so the four-star ones are, like, less on people's radar. But just in case this helps anyone, we're still going to throw it out there. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And these are just fun to see, also. Let's see. Ooh. Wow, <laughs> he looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a multi-headed dragon. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy originally got most of their monsters from D&D, and Tiamat's a famous monster from D&D. Wow. So the concept here is... Tiamat can do these absorb abilities, and if they if she does the absorb strength on your damage dealers, that can end a run right there. Oh wow! This one is pretty hard, harder than the usual to sub thirty in certain respects. Even though I have the ice chain from Snow and I have Squall's super powerful ice ability we've used to beat people before, mm -hmm. that wasn't enough for me to actually sub thirty this. Um, having those two in combination, I also needed to get. Um, the healer, Aerith, I got her USB, which is kind of like offense and defense in one USB, hmm. where it'll heal the team and speed up their attacking actions. So that was what it took to push me over the edge. Wow. So there's also a certain amount of randomness, like I was saying, because it does the absorb moves. But with Squall, that enters into effect a little bit less, because even if she does absorb his strength, when he gets going with his BSB commands, he'll still be capping damage anyway. Right, right. So that's, I, I prefer using him for this. I mean, he's really good for it anyway, because you need to use ice strong characters and he's one of the best, but yes. he also takes that element of RNG out of the fight. Mm. So one thing that makes Tiamat tough is, unlike a lot of the Magicites, she beats you up with two um, strong elements. She uses wind, which is her natural element, but right. she also has that jet fire attack, which she just did, which is nasty. Oh, so wow. you have to protect your guys versus wind and fire. <laughs> oh, man. And in this game, that's tough because you want to generally gear your... You only get one equipment slot that protects against, resists against elements. Right, right. So you kind of have to use your magicites to cover the other, hmm. and that's not always enough. Because the Magicites don't protect nearly as well as the equipment, they get a lower percentage. Huh. Wow. So the main thing here with Squall is you really want him to get one of his first commands to get a, a double attack. He doesn't have to, but it'll make the run a lot easier if he does. Oh, okay. So if, he, if one of his first two commands gets a double, then you can switch to the second command, which is where the real damage comes from, right, right. one turn faster, and that really helps. Oh, interesting. Another thing that helps, so here's the Wendigo Magicite we use to give Tiamat ice weakness. Another thing that helps with Snow is um, his his chain is offense and defense in one also. So yeah, Squall's already capping it's, damage, even though the goodness. chain's only at 120. Yeah. And boom, he goes twice. He doesn't have to go twice to get the sub-30. You don't need to pray and get a ridiculous amount of luck. Like yeah, on your side there. yeah. Okay. Like I probably could have sub 30 it before I got Aerith in her USB, that the ultra healing thing that also helps offensively. Mm. Probably could have managed that, but it would have taken that crazy luck where Squall gets a million double right. pass, and that's that's that doesn't really count. I mean, if you get it one out of every 30 tries, whatever. Yeah. So this is what made it consistent. Mm. So. So yeah, what I was saying was Snow's is also offense and defense in one, where his all of his ice USB or his ice soul breaks that we're using also have a beneficial effect. Like the first, the chain gives everybody 2,000 HP stock, so it's like a free heal when he does it. Oh right, interesting. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, 18 seconds in, already capping damage, and everyone is pretty much like 
on their uh, the cap right now. Yeah. Oh wow, we got another double with Squall. So this time we're doing really well. So again, we don't need all these to get the sub 30. At the moment, we're set up for like a really good run here. So we, what we have from Snow is um, he's got the, the chain and he also has his USB where it gives us a reflect damage that is ice based. So anytime oh. Tiamat hits us, it bounces back and hits him and adds to the chain. Oh, and Aerith is going nuts right now, really helping out too. He gets the double cure cast and the full team cure that comes from her legend dive. You don't need those to pop off every single time either. Oh my god. Yeah, even Snow's doing big damage now since the chain is so high. What's Snow's it? not usually a, a strong damage dealer in this game. Oh, wow. Because oh. his legend dive is kind of bad. I don't have him legend dived at all. Mm. But um, in this case, the chain is so high that, yeah, he's doing really good damage oh. too. Oh man, another one from Squall. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're definitely getting the sub 30 easily. We're gonna insane. have like, yeah, 24 or so on the clock when we are able oh. to beat this. But yeah, we would have been fine without all of those doubles. Because it just means he would have to go into his second soul break a little bit. Oh. And we'd be chipping him down and it will get it would have been closer to the 30 second mark, mm -hmm. but we're gonna get him. So mainly Shelk at the top there. She's just Wrath and Trust, Wrath and Trust. She gives, she builds up her bar really fast and gives right. it to either Squall or Snow so that they can hit harder with the big hitting abilities. Right, yeah, I noticed those two are pretty much the only guys that are dealing with the heavy damage there. Yeah, everyone else is supporting. Mm -hmm. So right. Onionite is also Wrath and Trust. Like they can, and he started out with the haste and attack buff. It's like you need somebody with a good attack buff in most of these parties. Ramza can do it, he can do it. Oh, yeah. Of course, right on the very edge. And Snow comes for the Oh, wow. Final. Snow snakes the final yeah, hit. Yeah, uh, final blow. Yeah, under 24 seconds. Wow, wow, yeah. So normally, the run would have would go a little bit longer, and Squall would go into his second use of his soul break, mm. and Snow would potentially go into his second use of his chain. But in this case, we didn't need it. Nice wow. and clean. That was awesome. And, yeah, most of our stuff here is capped, but we still have a few people in Magicite, which are gaining levels as we go. When you sub 30, you get more rewards, you get more Arcana at this point. It used to be Crystals, which was a much better drop, but they changed up the system a little bit. So yeah, here's sub 30-ing Tiamat pretty nice. quick and easy. Like it, it usually goes a little bit longer than that, but if you get a lot of double procs, it'll be a shorter fight. Right. But this team is consistent either way. Hmm. So if you get lucky enough, then uh, then you can maybe do this well around around the same time. But you wouldn't you don't always have to count on those, like to sub thirty. Right. Yeah. So I mean, if it ends at twenty eight seconds, twenty nine seconds, still fine. Yeah. You get the exact same rewards as if it ends at twenty three. Mm -hmm. And in the future, as they continue to release more and more ridiculous ice stuff, or um, it can be you know you can. Some people, with some of these easier magic sites, will do it at sub-15 or something like that. Wow. Oh, here's a fire resistance armor that I put on Shelk. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, she's got everybody's got wind resistance for the accessories, so if you have fire resistance for any armors, a lot of people have those built up, mm -hmm. you can use those to add even more oh, yeah. resistance, because you have to try and compensate for that double armor. Right, right. So if you, if you lean too much on one direction, you're going to get screwed on the other attack, right. and that's going to... Yeah, destroy that run. This one accessory does fire and wind. We gave that to Aerith. Yeah. We got ice damage boosts for Squall okay. and and for Snow, but only on the armor because it's pretty rare to have an ice damage boost on on the weapons. Oh, okay. And there's the Wrath and Trust. Yeah, for Shelk and Onion Knight, they're both. It's called batteries. They're battery strategies because oh, okay. they charge up the other characters. <laughs> okay, makes sense. And I have all of these for Snow. They're not needed. The chain is the important thing. Mm -hmm. Like use right. somebody with a chain. Snow, Renoa, Sarah just got one for Ice. Laguna has one. But yeah, that innocent cure for Aerith is what really put me over the edge. Because before it, it just wasn't consistent sub 30 before. Shelk oh, yeah. is a common battery. She's one of the best in the game because she, with her legend dive, she starts out with instant cast three, which is really fast. Mm to get people started faster. Right, right. And that's what makes the most damage for these. Huh. Aerith is actually using Lionheart for her record materia here, and that 
is Squall's record material, yeah. but it lets her gain charges for her soul breaks faster. And Squall is using Thunder God Sid, Gathering Storm, which lets him act extremely fast. Any action that he takes is very fast for the first 25 seconds. We've used that before. And it lets him just start slamming out yeah. the soul breaks and the command as fast as possible. Right, yeah. And definitely if you're trying to sub 30, that's going to help a lot with that. Yeah, yeah. that's one of the most common yeah. re record materials used in any of these sub 30 fights. So that's the team. We got a consistent. It is harder to sub out people for this, but it'll become easier as they have more and more ice abilities that are used. Right. Like some of the other ones, the fire one we did, it's so much easier to just, oh, okay, here's another character who's good at water. Here's another one. Here's another one. So there's a lot of flexibility right. there. Here right. there's less. There aren't <laughs> that many super strong ice characters in the game, so your options are more limited. But there still are some people you can swap out. It doesn't have to be this exact party. Right, right. Yeah, but... So far, I mean, that was, uh, that was seemed pretty easy <laughs> with the, uh, sub, like, what, tw even sub 24. Yeah. So that's, uh, not bad. One trick with these guys is the faster you kill them, the easier it seems. Ah, uh, right. Because the longer the fight goes, the more damage that they do, the They'll harder do. they hit. Right, right. For sure. Well, it looks like that's gonna do it for this episode of Final Fantasy Record Keeper! Indeed. We'll see you guys in the next one.